am I? Dr. Egg. Ford Color Theorem. We can never guess what's in a mathematician's mind. Goldbug and Fermat once left us two conjectures. Here's another one from a British man. The Ford Color Theorem. Wait, is his name Ford Color? Nope. Let's go back to London in 1852, while Francis Guthrie, a painter, was coloring a map. He found out that four colors could help differentiate all regions. Interesting. He then made a conjecture. This is the same with all maps. Uh, to his surprise, his idea attracted many mathematicians. But nobody in Britain could prove it. Eventually, in 1872, Arthur Cayley, a mathematician, posed the question to London Mathematical Society, still unsolved. It was like boxing, challengers were all knocked out. Sometimes, in history, lawyers could be good mathematicians as well. This time, there was one. In 1878, Alfred Kemp, a lawyer, said he got a proof which shocked many. Mathematicians were carried away on hearing the news. But 11 years later, someone found mistakes in Kemp's proof, so the conjecture didn't become a theorem. But good news was, Kemp's proof wasn't all wrong. His reducible configuration was helpful. Indeed, some used it and almost got a perfect proof. But things weren't easy. Sometimes, truth can be found without much effort. While people were manually looking for proof, computers developed real fast. It was effective in proving the conjecture. In June 1976, two computers from the University of Illinois proved it. They finished 10 billion calculations in 1200 hours. And proved it right. A conjecture finally became a theorem. But machines failed to have a clear logic, so it was our job to provide a logical proof. This wasn't bad news for mathematicians, as challenges were what they loved the most.